Hello and welcome to It's Tomorrow News. This is R. Sri Ram with an update on Indian weather. Himalayan region landslides kill 10, leave 2,400 tourists stranded in northeastern India. At least 10 people have died in flooding and landslides across Himalayan regions of India and Nepal following heavy rainfall on Thursday, according to local officials. The severe downpours have also left 2,400 tourists stranded in the northeastern Indian state of Sikkim. Six people died in India's Sikkim state and another four died from a landslide in neighboring Nepal's Koshi province, according to officials. Bordered between Bhutan and Nepal, the northeastern state of Sikkim is known for its scenic Himalayan landscapes, boasting 28 mountain peaks, 21 glaciers and more than 200 lakes. But like any mountainous region, it is prone to deadly flash floods and landslides. Last year, dozens of people died after a glacial lake in the state burst following torrential rain and scientists have warned extreme weather will become more frequent and more intense as the human-caused climate crisis intensifies. Neighboring West Bengal state has also been affected by flooding in recent days, with trees uprooted, buildings damaged and high water levels in the Tista River. While the north grapples with torrential rains, India has endured a record long summer with a part of the capital Delhi recording the country's highest ever temperature of 49.9 degrees last month. Rising temperatures in the country also risk reversing progress on poverty alleviation, health and economic growth. The city of Ahmedabad was treated to a surprise shower on Friday night with areas like Satellite, Shamal and Prahlad Nagar receiving rains while other parts received light drizzle. This marked the third consecutive day of sporadic light to moderate showers across the city. The city got 2 mm rainfall between 9 and 10 pm. Bodakdev received 12.5 mm rainfall during this period. Commuters were taken off guard as the rain intensified around 9.30 pm in certain western sectors. Many sought refuge along roadsides, leading to a drop in traffic flow, notably on routes from Shamal to SG Road and Nehrunagar to Shivaranjani Crossroads. Several parts of SG Road and nearby areas also received light rains. Meanwhile, the monsoon front appeared stationary near Navsari as per IMD's latest update on Friday morning. Meteorologists indicated that progress towards southwestern regions might resume in the next few days facilitated by favorable atmospheric conditions. A cyclonic circulation over southwest Rajasthan remained persistent, indicated an IMD report. Friday's weather saw the maximum temperature hover around 39.4 degrees, slightly below the normal mark by 0.3. The minimum temperatures, settling at 27.2 degrees, also dipped marginally by 0.8, attributed to the previous night's drizzle combined with cool breeze. Relative humidity levels followed a significant shift from 70% at 8.30 a.m. to 36% by 5.30 p.m. as reported by IMD. Looking ahead, IMD's forecast anticipated light to moderate rainfall across various districts including Dahod, Chota Udaipur, Dang, Navsari, Amreli and Bhavnagar on Saturday. Sunday's outlook pointed towards rainfall in Gandhinagar, Aravalli, Ahmedabad, Navsari, Valsad, Surendra Nagar and Botad. That's all for now. For more weather news updates, stay tuned with us on It's Tomorrow News. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you.